Alright guys, today I'm going to be riding my brother's brand new 2019 SV650X Suzuki. This bike is gorgeous. He just got this uh, like a week ago. It's only got, let's see, only got 7,100 miles on it. And this thing is gorgeous. It's got a, uh, a upgraded uh, like LED built-in headlight. It's pretty sick. Bar ends. Um, this thing is this thing is really cool. Uh, it's got a Yoshimura exhaust. This thing sounds great. Such a different riding style than my FZ09. Um, I'll get on it and we'll go uh, rip around some twisty roads. Just riding it over here, it is not a comfortable motorcycle. I mean, it's got it's got a clip-on handlebars, so it's not it's not. I mean, it's way more of a sport bike feel. I haven't really ridden any like true sport bikes before, but this is what it would feel like. Your legs are nice and tucked. You're super lean forward. So it's definitely got the sport bike feel, which for riding is not really comfortable for like around around the city but it sure feels badass feels like i'm on the batman bike um wasn't sure if she's gonna stop there she's coming in hot this thing feels really good though It's got ABS, which is good for my bro, because the um, last bike he had was my old Yamaha FZ6R, and uh, he locked the rear brake on that twice, and high-sided twice. So, it's good that he has a bike that has ABS. The swing's pretty sick. It's gorgeous. So, like I said, it feels like I'm riding, I mean, it's a cafe racer look and style so it's pretty sick feels like I'm on a uh, on the bat bike like I said I just love the color scheme the black and white and it's got like a, a brown leather seat and it feels great when you're actually like riding it riding it fast when you're leaned over like this we're gonna have to pass this RV at some point it feels pretty nimble actually uh, this is my brother's brand new bike, so uh, you know I'm not gonna go balls to the walls. I'm just gonna take it easy, just feel it out. Yeah, you know it doesn't like it doesn't fall over as well as the as the Ninja does, the Ninja 650. But it's still pretty nimble. like once you lean it over it definitely holds a line which is very good for cornering on a motorcycle as long as it doesn't get all like wishy-washy on you if you pick a line and it stays there that's what you want started to do that a little bit because I'm used to the uprightness you just really gotta really gotta hang down low these brakes on this on this thing are 
fantastic. This bike feels really good. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna slow down because there's a straight up here. I'm gonna see how well it'll pop up. Back, the back brake is really touchy, which is actually, I don't know how that'll be in a wheelies. We'll see. Let's just do a... Oh, that's great. That feels great once you get it up there. I just gotta get to that point. There's some more straight, straight roads that I'm going to. And there's lots of twisties on the way to them. So, similar engine as the Ninja 650, same size, 650 cc's. Uh, this is a V-twin though. I believe the Ninja 650 is the um, is a parallel twin engine. So this thing sounds better than, uh, than the Ninja. And I kind of want to test, I want to see how fast I can get this thing up to um, in this video. Or I might just clip it and make it another video just so it's separate, um, but we'll see. Once we get past these cars, then we can we can feel the bike out more. Yeah, it feels good. It feels it feels pretty good cornering. I love the deep V twin sound. When you get it up in the higher revs, it uh, kind of sounds more like oh yeah, it's just the 650. But Life ender is a widow maker. Lots of people crash on that corner. Oh, you know what? I can show you the corner that my brother crashed on. On my old bike. This corner right here. So we came around this too fast. Locked the rear brake up right here. Uh, I believe he high sided right here and then went into those tires. I was leading in front, which uh, I think he was just trying to keep up with me. I probably shouldn't have done that. Should have let him go first. Hugging the double yellow right there, Harley, bro. That's kind of sketchy. I don't, I don't, I like to keep my space away from the double yellow on blind turns like that, because if a car comes around. Hugging it as well, he'll clip you, and you will die. This bike feels great. I keep like leaving my, myself more space in the corner because um, I'm expecting to lean over more like I do in my F09 because it's so much taller. Um, but this thing, it doesn't like, you don't even really need to lean that much. It just picks, it just, it corners very well, very smooth.
it's got lots of torque but it's not like holy crap I'm lifting the front tire up in third and fourth gear like you do on the FC09 this thing is very like mellow torque like you really have to ring it out to get it to there so it's a very it's a very good beginner bike plenty of power for you to grow into and also not enough power that you'll crap yourself about and uh, crash plenty of power to get around cars like that which is pretty cool So here's what I have to say. The Ninja 650 falls into corners better, but it doesn't stay there as well. Like you have to, it falls into corners, but then you really have to like push it to corner it well. This one doesn't fall as well in the corners, but it'll just stay there and it just continues to lean over really easily, which feels really good. Mm, let's see. I'm going to do a little wheelie down here and then the next straight away I'll do a speed test. Let's see how second gear is if it'll clutch up in a second. Uh, well, not really. I'm not very experienced though, clutch ups like that. touchy rear brake you can hold it that balance point really well though I just started to fall back a little bit and I'm uh, not used to the rear slowing me down a little bit all right I'm gonna pass this car it's kind of an uphill so it's not really a fair speed test but we'll see all right ready I don't know if you guys could have seen my speedometer. Oh, both my mirrors folded in. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys could see my speedometer, so I was trying to call it out. I don't know if you guys could hear me either, but... 136, that's pretty good. I think it, uh... On Google, it says it only goes to like 128 or something. So 136, that's pretty good. Let's see, there's another spot to do a little wheelie on. Just gotta be careful that rear brake. This road is a little slanted. So it's not the best for wheelies. This right hand turn is really tight. In fact, it was one of the first places I ever dragged knee, so. As long as that cyclist doesn't get in our way. I'm gonna try it right here. Let's go second gear. Yep. Easy. I 
wasn't expecting it to uh, drag that early, actually. This turn's kind of sketchy because there's some dirt in it sometimes. Let's see if I can... Let's see. the speed it I think it's like 120 and my mirrors fold in because they're uh, they're like lane splitting mirrors so when you go to lane split you can go like this which is pretty cool this thing will be very fun on a track let's see wheelie wheelie time neutral and I oh, oh crap I smacked my nuts on the tank holy crap I took a second for it to really hurt oh, I'm not having kids oh I'm gonna throw up that hurt so bad oh my gosh I got both of them I just absolutely destroyed both of my nuts. That hurt so bad. Oh, I need to pull over. Oh, <laughs> oh this thing sucks. forces of that turn felt so cool. They're going like 119. Yeah, this bike on the track would feel really cool. Uh oh. Road work. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, there's a car up here anyways. Cars are kind of staggered now, so I pass this van. I won't be catching right up to the other car. Hopefully. Oh, never mind. The car's right up there, which means I'm gonna slow down. Wait for this truck to catch up to me.
Dean Jagger. A little scary with that semi truck, but thankfully he stayed in his lane. Let's see how this. Listen to how this thing sounds like in here. I mean, those deep tones sound really good, but once you hit high in the RPMs, that rhythm they just sound like a they just sound like a 650. When you lean over, you stick your crotch to the very end of this uh, of the of the tank, like the very tip of it, and then you lean over, kiss your chin to the handlebar, and you stick your knee out. It literally like your knee fits perfectly on that little groove, and it feels so good. into those corners really well nice c8 that's cool what's that oh really oh thanks man <laughs> <laughs> It goes up to 12 bucks. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I just need a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Whatever you can, I'll put it the rest of my truck. All right. I got to remember to make it up there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you get you can't help it if you're lucky. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. You too. Did it fill it? Yeah, I just need a little bit. Just need a few bucks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 